In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up and get mining with Varium. So Varium, or Varium Reserve as it's sometimes called, is a secondary chain that is connected to the Vericoin blockchain. So this is quite a cool concept. First come Vericoin, and that is designed to be a fast, lightweight blockchain. So it's cheap to use, and a quick way of uh, sending transactions backwards and forwards. But soon after, the developers realized that they wanted to add more value to the, to the network. So what they decided to do was to add in a secondary chain. So this chain is a, now it's a binary chain. So the secondary chain is the Varium blockchain. And by adding on this secondary chain, what they uh, wanted to do with the secondary chain was to add a slower, bulkier and more costlier uh, blockchain. So that way the two would kind of counterbalance uh, out each other. So you'd have a, a lightweight and fast blockchain on, on one side, and then on the other side, you'd have a slower but more valuable blockchain. Um, but by combining the two, the two would ideally work to, together, uh, balance each other out and have a good, um, offering for, for the people. So you can send fast transactions, but at the same time, you can also um, have a good store of value for the future. So one of the primary reasons that I'm gonna be showing you this coin today is because it is a CPU uh, mineable coin. That's one of the primary reasons that I'm showing it with you. So this coin is ASIC resistant, and it's also GPU resistant. I haven't found any other sources of uh, GPU miners or anything available. The only one thing to make you aware of is that it can be mined by uh, single board computers. So things like uh, these uh, Odroids and Raspberry Pis. And that's uh, one of the reasons I, I discovered it is because I was reading this other thread, which is this uh, building 600 cores uh, supercomputer. So this guy sort of went for the process of building these single board computers using these uh, Arduino type boards and um, decided that he was going to mine Varium Reserve uh, using that setup. So that's how I discovered it. Um, it's quite an old coin. It's been around for a few years. Taking a look at the coin market cap, you can see it's currently trading at $1.85. Um, has been quite high um, well, during the sort of the main pump over December. Um, so it's kind of about fair value where it is now, kind of that, um, yeah, I would say a reasonable price um, at the moment. Taking a look at the official website, and this is uh, kind of the binary chain explained. So if you just look at this infographic here, it kind of shows you how it works. So you've got the Vericoin chain, which is the fast blockchain, lots of transactions going through or lots of blocks going through effectively. And then on the right hand side, you've got the Varium Reserve, which is a slower blockchain. And then the two are linked together. So like I say, Varium is a CPU only mineable coin. So it's got some more details here regarding the coin, but uh, the main feature that I really want to show with you guys is that it's CPU exclusive. And that's one of the things that I wanted to show with you. Taking a look, quick look at the stats for this coin, you can see the current supply network hash and the current block reward. There's also the block time, which is just under four minutes as well. You can also see the network difficulty, just making you aware of these points at the time of recording. So, you know, if you guys are watching this video in the future, you can compare to this and then see how, um, you know, things compare over time. So let's take a look at the wallet and I'll show you how to get started mining with this coin. I'll show you how to install the Varium Reserve uh, wallet or vault as they call it and how to get started with the miner. So from the official website, I uh, will link in the description. If you scroll all the way down, you'll notice there's two wallets. One is for very coin and one is for very um, and this is the one that you want, the very um wallet. So if you select it and then download the one that's appropriate for your system, I'll be downloading the Windows Vault 64 bit. I will just save that to our downloads. From the downloads folder, we can run the wallet directly. So it asks us for an install location. I'm just gonna close the browser in the background there. So we're just gonna go with all of the defaults. So it's completed the setup and we're gonna leave the checkbox ticked and run the Varium Q2 for the first time. So click finish. It asks us, if we have any, an old wallet that we want to import, 
um, which we don't. So this is a cool feature of this Varium Reserve Wallet. I've not seen it on many um, other wallets, but what it does is it automatically downloads a bootstrap blockchain file so that it means that you can get started with the wallet much faster than downloading the blockchain manually. So it's a much faster process. So we're gonna leave that to download. Uh, it, there is a tick box that says installed new varium.com file. Um, we don't need to worry about that because we don't, the one that we have is the default one. It's, it's completely fine. So we don't need to check that. We just wait till this downloads and then we should be able to hit the next. I think that restarts automatically um, as a matter of fact. So I'm just gonna close this part because it did say it was gonna restart and I don't think it will whilst the that second window is um, open. So I'll just let's just um, let it open up. Okay, so it's opened up there. Okay, so we're back kind of to the beginning effectively. So we need to enter a passphrase for our wallet. So it asks for a passphrase of 10 or more characters or eight or more words. So choose a passphrase that you know well, or write it down um, offline and keep it somewhere safe. Um, I've got one, I'm just gonna copy and uh, paste it into there. And we select okay. The wallet will just close and reopen again, just to uh, encrypt the wallet and start. So now you can see that the wallet has restarted and it's asking for our passphrase. So I'm just gonna paste that in there and select okay. So this is kind of using the wallet for the first time, how it will look to you guys. You will see the synchronizing with the network. So ideally you want that to be 100%. It shouldn't take very long at all. I'd probably say uh, within 30 minutes, you should be synchronized with the network. On the bottom right hand side, you've got two connections. Um, this will increase over time. Um, if it's not increasing, then you just wanna close and sort of reopen uh, the wallet and see how it goes on from there. Just check your firewall connections, etc. But it shouldn't take too long. Like I say, probably about 30 minutes, you should be all up and running and fully synchronized. Just while that's going through, I'll just show you a few of the basics um, of the wallet. So it's really very much just like a normal uh, QT wallet. Hopefully you guys are probably fairly familiar with those. So you can enter an address and send your transactions out. You can create a receiving address like this one here. Transaction history, there's none at the moment. And we'll just go back to status. There you kind of are basic um, operations. Um, as I'll show you in just a second, once the blockchain has um, synchronized, I'll show you the uh, mining process. So we here we have what's called the Varium Vault. So this is the Varium, uh, like a QT wallet, but it also has a built-in miner to it to help you get started. So the miner is kind of a solo miner. It mines directly to the wallet connection. There are other miners available and you can also do pool mining, but I'll be doing that in a upcoming video. So this is just a kind of a quick and easy guide showing you how to get started. So once the Varium Vault is installed and the blockchain has been synchronized, at this point, you're ready to start mining. So it's very simple. On the bottom right hand side here, you select your number of cores. Um, I have a quad core processor. It's a Intel i5 uh, 6600K and it's overclocked to 4.4 gigahertz. So just telling you that, so you kind of got a reference point. Normally you would use one less core than is available. Um, but in this case, I've already tested it and kind of got the best results if I use all of the cores. Um, and then just click on start. There's a warning there, but it just tells you to use one less core than you have. Um, and we can click OK, and it starts the miner. So we'll just give it a minute to catch up and get it running. OK, so the miner has been running for just a few minutes now. And you can see in the mining statistics, 
section, we've got a hash rate. So it's hashes per minute and we're getting 1994, so just under 2000. Uh, previously when I tested it, I was slightly over 2000 um, hashes per minute. In the second column, you've got this mined blocks. So this is kind of important for you guys um, to know. So I'm currently got a 20 day block time or, or the expected amount of time before I find a block. So what this means is if I leave this running, Within 20 days, luck permitting, I should find a block and my block reward would be 3.81 at the moment. So I leave it for 20 days and I would get 3.81 Varium. So in terms of profitability, for a lot of you guys, um, it's probably not gonna be profitable, strictly speaking, if you mine with your CPUs. But what I would recommend is that if you mine perhaps with a single core uh, thread, just leave the machine running in the background while you do your normal kind of day-to-day -day business on your computer. And that should get you some rewards um, over time uh, without having the um, extra costs of uh, your electricity contributions and things like that. You just be mining in the background and if you can pick up a few coins, um, I'm sure that you guys, uh, that will be good for you guys. So I'm just gonna stop that now. If you guys are interested in seeing what your typical stats might be for your hash rate, there is a very good uh, Google document. I'll link it in the video description. And on here you can see the hash rate. And so it's sort of all hash rate and name, etc. cetera. Um, yes, yeah, so there is some other um, i5s, but there doesn't appear to be a 6600K like mine. Um, oh, well, so, but you can, you get the idea. You can look through, find your CPU, and then you can work out what your um, hash rate is. Um, I'll link to that in the description for you guys. Okay, so this was the video of how to get started mining a Varium reserve using the built-in wallet miner. If you're interested in using the additional miners such as the CPU OptiMiner or you're interested in pool mining, um, check out my next video where I'll be covering those in a lot more detail. So thanks very much for watching. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, give it a like. If you're not already a subscriber, please consider doing so. I'll put out video content like this on a regular basis and it'd be great to have you as part of our community. So thanks very much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.